This is the view of the bay at St. Colomb, uh, and I was sitting there reading while sunset happened. And this is, I went to a walk to a place called Can, Can Col, Can Cal, and this is a view from the bay at Can Cal. And here is a picture of the statue of Columbanus um, and uh, at the bay. And as a sculpture, it tells the story of Columbanus's journey across Europe from Bangor to Bobbio. Um, I am currently in Orléans, or as we Americans call it, Orleans. Uh, it's quite an interesting day because uh, I picked up a hitchhiker um, about halfway along and said that she was going to Abbey. Um, but on further discussion, she was a lady of the road and she spent her life wandering around basically trying to extract money and favours from people who she encountered, which proved quite difficult with me because A, I have encountered people like her before, but also she didn't speak any English and my French, although it kind of seems to be improving a little bit, wasn't really up to her trying to extract money from me. Um, so after journeying with me as far as Le Mans, um, she decided that she'd, I gave her some lunch and, um, uh, and after that, if she wasn't going to get any money from me, she wasn't really interested in staying, um, going further on in her journey. She initially said she wanted to go to Orléans, like I, where I'm going, where I am now. But obviously that didn't happen. She decided enough was enough. And if she wasn't going to get anything out of me, then other than lunch, uh, she would go somewhere else. So that was quite an interesting day. Um, yesterday, I spent a large chunk of the day interviewing uh, René Fourjou who is the president um, of Brittany's branch of the Friends of Columbanus. René himself is a retired man, but he trained in a Catholic seminary, so he's quite knowledgeable. Um, and he is quite passionate about Columbanus. Um, a lot of what we talked about was him checking that I knew what I was talking about, which I think I held my end up quite well. Um, and uh, but we had some quite interesting discussions. I'm also uh, managed to make contact with a historian who is a professor at Caen University, and we are now in email contact. And he has disabused me of some of my preconceptions about um, early medieval society which has been quite helpful in trying to understand exactly how Columbanus did what he was supposed to do, which was plant churches and communities. Um, but suffice it to say, the kind of key point that I've picked up in the last couple of days is that the rural communities really economically were no different to the urban communities. And as such, Columbanus's ministry, even though it was predominantly to rural people, wasn't driven by their poverty as such, because most of the people were across both urban and rural were similar in their levels of wealth. Suffice it to say, I've made it as far as Orléans. Um, tomorrow um, uh, is going to be uh, a me day. I'm hopefully going to be meeting up with a colleague of Sandra's um, uh, in a town nearby Orléans and uh, spend some time with them and then I will continue with my investigations hopefully in subsequent days. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.